It got me thinking about my full-time employees and their ability to survive on $8 an hour in New York City. And foremost in all of our minds has been the loss and the grief felt by the people of Orlando. Most of us don't get our health care through the marketplace. We get it through our job or through Medicare or Medicare. And what you should know is that thanks to the Affordable Care Act, your coverage is better today than it was before. Women can get free checkups and you can't get charged more just for being a woman. To give his employees and together to pass a common there's a bill that would boost America's very, very hard times. Some progress, at least in, within the small confines of the legal community. I think it's real important. Uh, here we go. Uh, President Barack Obama, uh, when you uh, giving a speech, uh, make sure you use uh, a lot of pauses. America's businesses have created 14.5 million new jobs over 75 straight months. We are developing technology. Every technology can be used um, in some negative way. And so we all should work towards uh, making sure that it's not going to happen. And uh, even um, one of the interesting directions is that once you know how to create something, you know how to reverse engineer it. And so you can, um, uh, and so one could um, uh, create methods for identifying um, uh, edited videos versus um, real videos. You're absolutely right, Whoopi, that uh, us showing respect for other people, uh, us being uh, thoughtful about other people's traditions, mm -hmm. uh, is something that uh, Michelle and I tried to teach our kids. Uh, you, know, you talked about what we talk about over the dinner table. A lot of what we talk about over the dinner table is, you know, we live in a diverse world. And I'm honored, and I think people can say that my election symbolizes some progress, at least in, within the small confines of the legal community. I think it's real important to keep the focus on uh, the, the broader world out there and, and see that uh, uh, for a lot of kids, uh, the doors that have been open to me aren't open to them. We're entering an era in which our enemies can make it look like anyone is saying anything at any point in time. They could have me say things like, I don't know, Killmonger was right, or Ben Carson is in the sunken place. Now, you see, I would never say these things, but someone else would. Someone like Jordan Peele. This is a dangerous time. Moving forward, we need to be more vigilant with what we trust from the internet. That is, that is creepy, and that, that video shows Oscar-winning filmmaker Jordan Peele putting words in the mouth of former President Obama. It's part of a new public service ad campaign to warn Americans about the growing threat posed by digital misinformation. Carter Evans shows us how the U.S. government is trying to respond to this new technology. It's really easy to do these kinds of things, uh, to manipulate images and video. Dave Dorman is project manager at DARPA. It's the secret defense department agency trying to keep the country a step ahead of cyber threats. Is the ability to manipulate video a threat to national security? I think absolutely. I think that's a very important uh, national concert, security concern. It can cause unrest, it can cause riots. Other nation states uh, could even act on some of this stuff. 
At DARPA, Dorman put us in a conference room and confiscated our phones for security. We then took a look at the software he's developing to identify the new generation of fake news. It's fairly hard to tell what was manipulated in this particular image. And if I go to the next slide here, it's going to have a transition where it's showing you the process. The bright red means the car is not really there. So let me go on to something that's a little more complex here. When in the course of human events. The blue line here um, is the audio of the first speaker. And then it detects that there was a second speaker. Which have connected them with another. And to zoom among the powers of the earth. So it's detecting the changes there. It's detecting the changes. My vision is to have a program that every image, every video posted to a social media site go through this process. For CBS This Morning, Carter Evans, Los Angeles. Thinking about the next next presidential election oh, and this yeah. sort of technology, which is really scary for everybody beyond notice about it. Yeah, and once you see it, you can't unsee it, even if you know it's not real. It's a new level of fake news. It's mm -hmm. frightening. It's a new level of fake news. It's mm -hmm. frightening.